Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we are going to be taking a look at both the extra stage and boss rush in um, Grace Counter GM on Nintendo Switch, specifically on Unlimited Extreme, so the absolute hardest difficulty you, you can do in this game. Um, these were pretty wild to get into. Uh, unlike just the, the regular runs, where no matter what difficulty mode uh, was, you could kind of just apply the same approach alter a few things here and there and be just fine, especially after you make it out of the first stage, since uh, that one felt like just crazy. Um, but these stages took quite a bit more getting used to, just because the intensity is just off the charts here. Um, you really gotta put a bit of time into just making sure you know when to do certain things, just so you're not left in a situation where you're completely out in the open with no uh, graze counter to fire off or your break to give yourself a, a bullet cancel. Because stuff is pretty much non-stop and it's just a bonkers, bonkers time. So I had a blast doing these. I, I stayed up quite late last night doing the boss rush. Um, that, that was just bonkers. I'll talk more on that when we, we get there. But anyway, this is the extra stage. As you can see, it's just absolutely wild. This is about a four minute stage, give or take. Um, so you just go through this intense time with all these enemies filtering in and then you have a, uh, a boss fight at the end and it's it's a huge step up compared to anything else in the game in my opinion but it's such a blast I'm really really stoked to have uh, polished these off um, but yeah I figured I would just sandwich these two uh, things together for this video because they are both pretty short the boss rush is about nine minutes and uh, that was, yeah, that was just nuts, like, oh man, I'll say more when we get there, but it was just crazy achieving that. So one thing I will say, actually no, I'll save that for the, the boss rush, but it's, it's pretty important, or at least it was to me. You know, it's um, a little info that some people might find helpful. But anyway, here we are at the final boss of this uh, extra stage. So it's pretty crazy. You really, <laughs> you really don't want to be caught without something to fire off. And due to the very short duration of the this little run in particular, it's not like you have a whole run with stages and stuff to stockpile extra lives and stuff. So you're you're dealing with just the chaos of this stage with very, very minimal lives. But thankfully there are plenty of opportunities to just charge your meters and that kind of stuff um, because of how dense the bullet patterns are leading up to this fight and during this fight, of course. And I love that the starting level for this is 255. Like, half the time you have no idea, like, <laughs> where you even are. It's just a mess of pixels. It's so good. I really came... Even though when I first got the game the other day, uh, I was starting with the person with the blue shots that fires straight ahead... I did that for a bit, but then I re very quickly came to enjoy this ship in particular. I use a different character for the boss rush mainly because you don't have enemies and stuff at the sides filtering in, so since you only ever have one target at a time, it just made sense to be funneling all my firepower straight ahead. Um, but in this level, uh, this character was fantastic. So yeah, that's the extra stage. It's pretty, pretty insane, but super super rewarding pulling that off so one thing I will I might as well just start chatting about the boss rush next since we're about to get there um, it will start at level 255 if you restart let's say you fumble and you restart within the mode it will drop the level down to 200 uh, I didn't realize this for the first hour and I I pulled it off, but then I noticed, oh, 
it's at 200 and I don't want to do it at 200. I want to do it at the maximum starting level, which is 255. So I put another two hours into attempts before I pulled off this unlimited extreme boss rush at uh, 255. Uh, it was it was just wild. I had a whole bunch where I was so, so close to pulling it off, but um, I think part of what the issue was leading up to it was there were certain bosses I, I hadn't seen before because I hadn't taken the alternate routes in the, the regular stages, like when you're doing a regular run. And then also just some bosses that I hadn't really learned how to clean up, but the last few attempts before clearing it is when I certain things just kind of clicked and then it just came together and for me anyway it was very very important to like take as few as few hits as possible just have as many lives as possible for the very final fight so yeah cleaning up some of the uh, the bosses on the way really really helped and also just learning to be a little more daring with some of these patterns um, made a big difference too. I'm not sure how how it works. Uh, I think it's score based. I don't recall what numbers, like a, what amounts you get extra lives, but uh, we do get a few one ups here and there. I think one after this next boss, and then another one a few bosses later. So yeah, um, going back to what I was talking about before, uh, if you do want to be clearing this at level 255, you always have to exit this mode, go back to the starting game menu, and choose your loadout again. Uh, keep that in mind, because it's not going to... I don't get why they why they have it set up like that. I think that's really, really strange and uh, kind of tedious to deal with, like always needing to restart and select everything all over again instead of just being able to restart within the mode, but, um, whatever. So all in all, for the the two days that I've played Grey's Counter GM, um, I love this game. I don't really see this as a long-term type of game for me. If I was to be into scoring, for instance, then there's a, a like there's just huge potential for going crazy and just doing that sort of thing but i don't really care about that at all uh it doesn't really appeal to me um so i i feel as though i've kind of done everything that i will do with it figuring this boss out was uh It didn't take super long, but it still took a little fiddling around and experimenting and then realizing the trick of it. How to just budget my resources in such a way where I can lure it to the one side instead of panicking and going to the other side but then being too close to the shot, uh, the side shots that it fires out. Because I would usually take a hit in this fight. And so when I cracked the, that red ship and then always ensuring that I came out of this one without taking a hit as well, that really, really just gave me extra momentum for clearing this. And even this attack, getting used to that at first was kind of tricky. And having that auto shield pop up every so often is just fantastic. I just love the boss designs. Oh, so cool. They chose fantastic color combinations. And just the designs themselves are wicked. Like, even small enemies like that have awesome pixel art.
there are a handful of really nasty attacks that I had to get used to uh, handling other parts just so that I could kind of graze counter through the major threats or the ones that were major threats for me. Some of these bosses are pretty laid back. Like this one is has an easy enough opening to deal with. Um, but some of them just kind of unleash everything right at the start. And if you've just finished the previous boss and you don't have anything, like you don't have your, your gauges full, then sometimes that can be a tricky starting situation for you. One of my favorite bosses, I love it. So this is one example of a, a fight where I chose to be a little more daring, not fire my stuff off as early, just because there are some sections where I always want to make sure I have a way through. Like that moment there, I don't want to take chances because of how thick this part is. Because it just gets so messy so quickly. I don't recall if I take a hit this time around, but it was very common for me to lose two lives. Like, almost every single time in this fight. Even though it's a pretty straightforward and simple boss to read, I would somehow take two hits. And that is a, that's way, way too, too big of a hit. When you want to just be as prepared as possible for the final boss. Because it's just over the top. And here we go, get ready for the insanity. Such a blast. So I have oodles of lives, and we're just jumping right in. The wings are out. This part's pretty crazy. For the most part, I don't take hits during that. I, I'm not sure what's going on there, but like... It seems like a, an easy enough thing. Those laser cubes... I think that's what Let's Blocking called them in his video. I'm not sure what else to call them, to be honest. They're just like crystal cubes or something, or lasers. But those can be really deadly. Sometimes the uh, the bullets are just coming down at you, and you don't even see these crystals forming underneath the cubes. Everything is just a blur of pixels, and it's just crazy. So that kind of stuff would get me all the time. Oh, man. And oh, there's a really silly hit coming up, too. Something I w just wasn't anticipating. I think it's right... No, it's not. It's it's coming up, but yeah, we'll see it. But I think I had like a, f a full meter that I could have just used, but I just <laughs> sat there and, and took it. It's It's got to be coming up very soon. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things where there's just so much chaos all over the place. It's right there. It's like, what? I didn't do anything. I just took that. But yeah, the lives are, they're kind of just dropping here and there. And there's another one because of the crystals, or the, the lasers. Like, it's just crazy. It's like the risk of getting hit just by flying around, because stuff's going all over the place. That risk is so high in this fight. Oh my god, I'm so glad I was at the ready. At this point, I, I knew I had it. I just really want to make sure I didn't fumble anything else. I was just determined not to screw that up. So anyway, that is that. An absolute blast. I love playing on Unlimited Extreme. It's super, it's super fun, super wild. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think if you're aiming to get this game or if you have it and you want to tackle some of these additional challenges. Uh, thank you so much for being here today and checking this out with me. Have a great rest of the weekend, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care.